Hello, my name is Shadley and welcome back to another episode of Red Galaxy in our Forex. And in previous episode we did find quite a few, well, a couple of new systems. Uh, Kazan and Vladivostok, actually. Both of which are fairly sizable, especially Kazan. It's just massive, I don't think we'll be able to survey any of those planets anytime soon. Eventually, maybe. Like, I have a feeling that actually... Hmm, let's have a look at Kazan real quick. How old is it? Oh, wow. It's very young, so there's probably going to be massive resources there. Oh no, oh no. Okay, um... We're going to have to get some quite upgraded uh, survey vessels for these. That's going to be a bit of a challenge. Don't think I can manage it. But anyway, let's uh, keep on going. Ah, we completed the nuclear pulse engine technology. And then we got the jump drive efficiency started. Right, so let's actually have a look at the ship designs that we have so far. Let's put on the wide view. And... survey crafts. So we currently have uh, two engines of size 10. I think two engines might still... well actually... The survey vessels might be able to withstand a single 20 hull size engine, but we're gonna have a survey engine. So let's actually decide to tech already here. So if we go for engine, I'll put the no name upgrade there so we can set the name and then change the stats. So we're gonna have a new classification of S for survey. And it's gonna be a uh, military engine. I'm probably gonna go for 20 hull size. To keep the amount of space that the engine takes more or less the same. Lower the engine power by a little bit. Go for 90% or something like that. But it should still be. Ooh, right, the fuel usage is still pretty high, although. It's gonna be using a lot less fuel than the old one. And it's still going to have a bit more power in the engine itself. Also, how much does it take? Max repair is probably... Hold on, on this it's max repair... I guess it's 80, so it would be 64 now. Right, so what we need to do is 20. Then the... Power of the engine, so 144, and then 60, hold on, yeah, 62.6. So that's the amount of liters of fuel it uses per hour. And it's not too bad, it's going to be a lot less fuel usage than before. Still a bit faster, and all in all, I think it's going to be a nice upgrade. So we'll create that. I could create it as a prototype for the planning there, but I don't think it's really necessary right now. Another thing that we might want to figure out is if we want to have the fast SR craft, which we actually hasn't, haven't designed yet, but those are going to have the box launchers. How much room will we have for the engine there? Okay, let's actually close this one for the time being then, and let's do a New ship class. I suppose Kriva can do it for the time being. Just making sure that I have nothing in here that... Okay, so you are going to be... Fast Star Craft. FAC should be somewhere around here. But you, and you don't need a bridge. We can probably lower the engineering to... Fighter. Don't need a large fuel storage either. I think just a fuel storage will do. Oh right, so, saying that's a freighter. Right, if we put you to point three, for example, now it's a military vessel. And maintenance life is massive, but of course it doesn't have anything yet. So let's put in some missile launchers. So that's three box launchers. We can probably put in several of these. I actually wonder, um... 
The box launchers are rather small. It's going to take a long while to reload any hangar, but that's alright. Oh, even much longer animation facility. Okay, so um, let's think about this. As box launcher is going to need missile fire control. Probably one of these, although we could maybe make a smaller one. Although, okay, let's say that we use that one. So as a fire control, it has some box launchers. We could probably put in a couple more. But let's say we want to have about 40% on as engine. So it would be about... Hold on. 20 hull size, 40% of that would be 8 hull size engine. So let's design tech. Uh, we can probably go for the full power and then go down to 8 hull size. There would be 96 engine power. Let's see, 96. Or rather, the. Yeah, 96 divided by 20. So have 4,800 kilometers per second speed. It's alright speed, it's not massive to be fair, but it's um, probably good enough for missile fast as I craft early on. Although we probably want to have the engine power much much higher than that. But let's say we have something like this. Suppose we could make this into a prototype, although I want to rename it correctly here. So this would be... Per F for fighters, or FACs, and then 8, 96, and ooh, <laughs> it's using quite a bit of fuel, but I suppose these don't need to be out for a long while. Alright, let's uh, refresh tech so we can see the engine there. Actually, no, we. Oh right, prototypes. Right now we can see it. That would be all right. Um, the fuel usage is eight days on full power. That's probably a bit too much. Hmm. Right. Well, let's put in some more box launchers, shall we? We'll probably go for something like twelve, maybe. Then maybe. Or I suppose we could even fit in more. 16 seems like a decent amount. And deployment time is probably a bit too high still. Maintenance life is not all that great. Deployment time 9 days. So let's say we lower that to 0.2. So it's 6 days. That's not too bad. So it's a little bit there. Can we put in a second layer of armor? No. What if we lower some of that? Okay, over to the bridge now. Yeah, we can. There's a 14 box launcher, second layer of armor. It doesn't have any sensors other than the. Ooh, right, that's a problem. Okay, let's take away some of that. I suppose we could have a secondary variant with sensors, or we could even. Mm. Let's think about this. If we want to make a fighter with box launchers, that might be doable. Also, I suppose the fighter doesn't really matter how much armor it has. If it has a... Uh... Like, most of the weapons can still penetrate the armor rather quickly. So, benefiting from the speed is probably the more likely option. But the uh, fire control is definitely too big for this uh, type of thing. It doesn't need to have that sort of range. So maybe we'll do this, uh, complete this design later. I'll probably do a little bit of it off camera. But it's something to toy in idea level at least. Oh, right. Exploration 2 is currently at home. Let's have a look. Do you need to do. No, you have done your overhaul. 
Uh, where have you been is the next question. You've probably been in Brezhnev. I'll send you back there. So, Volograd and then Brezhnev. And get to work. And we got the naval shipyard complex. Production started on the cargo freighter, or the cargo container rather. That's good. So, uh, the shipyard over here. I will... Hold on, what? Oh, right, the freighter may have been first on the... Well, it probably wasn't first on the queue there. Right, so over here we'll start upgrading this to... Continual capacity upgrade un up until 5,000. It's gonna take a while, but it will speed up eventually. Or over time, so it's not too bad. Alright, ooh, we don't have a lot of fuel available right now. Hopefully that will get fixed soon. Ooh. Yeah, as I said. Oh, actually. You are heading back, right? Okay, uh, <laughs> that's not good. Hmm. I wonder if you'll get home. You might. See, Volvogra, how long of a distance is it here? Still pretty long. Okay, all the way back there. Is it actually. Oh, right, yeah, there's only one planet over there, I forgot. Okay, so we may need to send the tug over here to drag the exploration in if need be. Currently at 15%. I don't know, it might get back home. Okay, we got the freighter completed. Did it not start the... Oh, this was set at 100%. Well, that would do it. Right, let's modify that. And up Q, there we go, we can start producing that. I'm about to get the fuel refineries though. Um, We do have another 15 construction factories over here that are kind of meant to go to Pravda at some point, but I suppose we could build another 50 or so. And then how many mines do we have here? I know that there's some over here, yeah, there's 10 over here that are still uh, supposed to be transferred. I suppose I could build another 20, or another 50 rather. And then maybe some more fuel refineries. After that, so we're going to be hitting 50 soon. Let's get another 25. And, ooh, actually, now that we've got the better engine tech, uh, we do kind of want to get some better missile tech, for example, agility and such. But we could technically start designing new missiles. Alright, so another 25 of those, we'll get another 25 financial centers as well. I'd rather have more of them than... Or have enough of them to keep... Oh, right, actually, we've got 100 financial centers already. Also, another thing we should probably think about is... More maintenance facilities. Um, we've got 40 right now, I think. Getting another 20 at least wouldn't be too bad. Put those on the queue. And then maybe another... Mass driver, at least. So we can transfer that to Stellino eventually. Right, now that we've got the uh, container, uh, so that is a bit risky if it's gonna... Oh, it's right next to... Okay, so it should be able to get back home, I assume. Right, so actually, let's go for the bleed screen here. So the battle one here, oh right, that's the destroyer, then we've got the shipyard and the battle fleet. So what we'll do is we'll create a new fleet under this, which is going to be Cargo 2. We can set the tag over there. I'm going to create another fleet. It's just going to be called New Fleet. And send this uh, Fraser down there. And then we'll grab that from the fleet. The reason why I'm doing this way is that I don't lose the battle fleets and all these extra fleets there. Although, I suppose it would be end of the world? Question mark. 
But uh, yeah, a uh, new fleet, Traxxer, any ship in fleet. We go forward for five seconds. And now we can give them orders to transport some mines and such to Proud of. So let's load installation. Load a few more mines. So unload all installations. Repeat that another four times. Then you can probably refuel. And we'll give you new orders after that. Okay, 11%, 10%. Ah, new scientist for defensive system. Doesn't seem to be having research bonus in there, unfortunately. As far as I can tell, no. Does have a good uh, admin rating though, so it could have a lot of uh, research labs assigned, but that's about it. Okay, the Exploration 3 did reach home. Did it actually refuel all the way through though? It did. Okay, now I think it's time for you to do your overhaul. I think you've earned it. Okay, the Karaka 2 has completed orders. Let's have a look. Do we have still more population here that we could utilize? Um, yes, we do have more available workers. So I think what we'll do is we'll send in five extra factories. So that will increase our infrastructure production. We'll get the terraforming installation going as well. I just wonder, is there anything that I'm missing? I certainly hope not, but let's uh, give the cargo some orders again. So, load a construction factory, and load all installations, and then repeat four times, and then just move there. I don't think you need to refuel, quite frankly. It's a rather short trip. Got massive range. Ah, oh, we got the fuel refiners constructed, so now we started getting more construction factories in Chazakistan. And uh, research completed on the turret tracking speed. Good. And exploration 5 is uh, back home, just refueled. I suppose you could resupply and overhaul. Let's have a look. So that we got the turret tracking speed. Is there. I suppose we could start doing some of the missile things. Let's get the agility up. It's gonna take a while, of course. But slowly but surely we can upgrade that, and we will be getting some more research labs in due time. So that's not too bad. And we're also going to be getting more construction factories. Of course, we have started transporting a lot of them. Or some of them, anyway. How much do we produce fuel per year now? 4.3 million. Could be better. Ruins exploited. Oh wow! Oh wow! Okay, let's have a look. Summary. Energy, 100% extra research. Oh, goodness. Okay. But we don't know how many installations there are still. We do have Xeno Archaeology, so they probably just did the ancient construction first, and then they're now gonna research the ruins. Okay, but yeah, we we need to get some researchers in here. Or research labs so we can do some energy research. We'll maybe get some pretty good particle lenses through there quickly enough. Okay, Cargo 2 has completed orders. How much do we have uh, extra room here now. Not much. We're kind of running out of room there. We will be building more infrastructure. This is going to be completed by the end of June next year. Okay, so that's still quite time consuming. Population growth is uh, still over 10%. Okay, yeah, I can see a problem there. Actually, very soon. But yeah, that's <laughs> that's a bit of a surprise. 
A pleasant surprise, mind you, but it's a surprise nonetheless. Some retirements. I suppose we have a lot of officers and not a lot of ships to be commanding, so it does kind of track. Okay, um, Exploration 3 has completed so, or overhaul. Exploration 1 under con Vladivostok A4. Um, a lot of various resources, good accessibilities, but the numbers are not brilliant. I mean, it's probably worth that. Uh, oh, actually, is that? Oh, it's the other one with the corundium. 2.4 million corundium, point one accessibility, but it has an excellent survey uh, potential. Ooh. All right then. Uh, exploration three. I should probably send you out now since you've done your overhaul. And you were in to Volgograd and to Kazan. Hopefully you can do a little bit survey there. But it's actually no. I'm not going to send you there. I'm going to send you through the other place. Mostly because the range that you have is just so poor. So remove last. Go to the unexplored. Okay, Red Star Mark 4, or um, Exploration 5 is a uh, complete overhaul. And I believe you were. Actually. You've been in Kiharam, haven't you? Alright, so I'm gonna have to send you back there. Volvograd, Gorgi, and Kiro. Research completed. We got the underwear replenishment uh, research. I'm going to assign the extra research lab now for the missile agility. Just so that we can get the better missile tech so we can actually have some missiles that are worth using. Because the current missiles that we have, I'm not going to even produce them. But they act as a nice uh, jumping off point to research the next ones. So it's not all bad. Right, so beam fire control is probably going to be the next one that we get. Yeah, that seems to be the case. Then it's going to be the missile agility. But both of those are still rather far away. Of course, we are going to get another research lab eventually. And are we over the... Oh no, we're not over the population limit yet. <laughs> we are very close, with 30,000 people away from the limit there. Um, hmm, that's a slight issue. How's the atmosphere coming along? Very slowly. The temperature is actually going up a tiny bit as it should. Because more atmosphere. Let's see, more retirements. New system discovered. Ooh. Seems to be fairly sizable. Tomsk. Let's have a look. So where is that? Right, it goes over there. Okay. So the Exploration 3 seems to be having very bad luck with the systems. Let's actually have a look. So what does the system have? Oh, wow. It has quite a few stars. There's one that has one planet. I believe that is... Oh, that's orbiting the Tomsk B. And then Tomsk C has... Uh, Hundreds of asteroids and one planet, and some of them need, seem to be potentially habitable asteroids. Um, let's have a look. All asteroids. Oh yeah, a lot of them have low gravity potential there. A lot of them are tidal locked, of course, but that's interesting. Uh, we might have, find some resources in there. I mean, it might be. Worth setting up a. Oh, there's a Super Joby here as well. Alright then. Uh, so there's the. That's the primary, of course. This is the C and. Hold on, is the B? B is over there and it has its own star orbiting it. With a singular planet. Alright then. Well, this is a quite sizable system, but I think. We're going to at least reach the inner system quite easily. Should be able to do a decent bit of surveying here. And who knows, maybe the um, 
Asteroids will have some decent resources there. Who knows? But we seem to be out of time for this episode, so if you enjoyed this, please like, comment, subscribe if you haven't already. Also, check out the links down below in the description. But other than that, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, bye bye.